Let's all bow our heads as we have Brother Sheldon Baptiste to pray for us. Dear Father, thank you, dear God, for your love and your guidance. Thank you for bringing us this evening where we could fellowship, dear Father, where we could learn more about you. Lord, we ask you, dear God, to forgive us from every stain of sin, creating us a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within us. We ask you to send your Holy Spirit to be with the participants, dear Father, be with those who are also hearing, change our hearts, dear Father. May we get the lesson, dear God. Dear God, that, we, that you have put forward for each and every one of us. And dear God, when we have received your lesson, help us, dear God, in the incoming week to share it with others, doing our part to hasten your coming, dear Father. Lord, we want to go home with you, and we ask you to continue to just bless us. Help us, dear God, to remain faithful to you and to continue to share you with others, dear Father. This is our prayer in Jesus' matchless name. Amen. 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 You know how to bring it upstairs. This is not, you should not have worn it down. Oh, okay. Nice to meet you. Very nice. Well, this time we will yeah. introduce Sister Racy and Dirimble and friends to take us through our well, song well, service. Well, one well, moment that I'm going to pop in here. I'm going to pop into the equipment room. We're asking like, all persons to mute your microphone. Plug it. See if I can plug it into the, into the uh, processor. Oh. Well, I have some technical difficulties with my camera. I had a tablet ready for us, but I would love to welcome everyone who is currently here to our Prodi Comes Home program. I know there's a lot of people from far away who used to be in Tobago and in Scarborough Church. And we welcome you all and thank you all for being here and worshiping with us this afternoon. We hope that you all enjoy your stay and you all will be blessed. I welcome you. Amen. Amen. Kianda is actually one of our young AY leaders and um, it's a good privilege to have her, you know, assisting us in, in this program. And also we, okay, we see our song service leaders are getting ready to, um, to come online. So I'm just, I just want you all to know that we have to encourage our young people with whatever they're trying to do. They are always willing to assist us, the older ones, when we ask them to um, do anything and we must always encourage them. Because remember that we all are doing this for the Lord. It's not about any one of us. It's about God and giving God the glory and the praise and the honor. So I believe our song leaders will be ready in a few minutes. They're getting their devices organized. We are seeing them and they will be starting in just a few minutes. Just bear with us and we thank you for your patience. We know that sometimes with um, these type of programs online, as you know, because of the situation, sometimes there's so much technical difficulties, but we just wanna praise God that he's still in control and they will be ready in about in a few seconds. I'm seeing they're getting ready to strike up the band. We thank Check one, two, one, two. Good afternoon, everyone. Are you guys hearing us? Yes. yes, Kylon, yes. Oh, yay! <laughs> All right, we want to apologize for the technical difficulties. We have a lot of difficulties over here. Um, but we are still happy that we can still be here with you guys this afternoon. Um, we actually not even see you, but we'll imagine at least for now. All right, so we're going to sing a few choruses. Um, 
you will tell us when um when what time is expired right okay, okay so kylan excuse me you have 15 minutes all right excellent wonderful i heard that all right um i have here with me um a group of global star persons here. We have our Ella in the corner, Ella Charles Smith on the bass. We also have Ella in the making, Ella Hassani Or on the keys. We have Sister Racing Director. We have Sister Leanne Edwards and yours truly, Kylan Church. All right, um, we will just pray quickly before we begin. Heavenly Father, we thank you for being with us and communion with us. We pray that you send the angels to sing with us and that we will all enjoy the service this afternoon. I pray that whatever is brought forth, we will benefit from it. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Okay, I'm prompted that our first song is sing, 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 sing. Someone is here. And I know it is Jesus. Oh, my God. 
Amen. Wasn't that wonderful, guys? And to conclude our song service, we'll have our opening hymn, number 109, Marvelous Grace of Our Loving Lord. We welcome all again, especially our visitors who have been who have logged on for the first time. We hope that you are blessed by our service this evening. All right, number 109 in your hymnals. Marvelous. We'll go with the musicians again and you will follow with us. All right. Let's go up the four, three, four. My heart is made by God alone. God is that I Thank you. 
Sani and Charles for such a wonderful song service. Again, I say welcome to one and all to our service this evening. I am glad that you have come. All of us, we are glad that you have come. Those who have come from far, those who have come from near, we pray dear God that this afternoon will be a blessing and that your souls will rejoice when you leave this platform. And Jesus answering and said unto them, they that are whole need not a physician, but they that are sick. I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. The repentance, the act of sincere regret or remorse. Each person who turns to God in genuine repentance and faith shall be saved. In Matthew 18, 15 to 17 and 21 and 22, Jesus gave us the perfect example on how to begin the process of repentance. But what prevents us from true repentance to each other and to God? Pride. Each of us has pride. But once we can humble our hearts to God and each other, then the process of repentance can begin. Regardless of who may have been the instigator of the offense, offering grace and mercy to someone undeserving of our love in our eyes is the first step to initiating that true spirit of repentance. An example of this is found in Psalm 51, 19. When David had sinned, he humbled himself and before God and did receive pardon and forgiveness. So too, we must humble ourselves before God with a contrite heart. We would now have a very special choral speaking. 30 years ago at Scarborough SDA Church, we had a budding, oh sorry, my, my apologies. At this time, we welcome Sister Angela Ronalds, who will take us into our Bible knowledge. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Sister Charlene. Good evening, everyone. Good evening from Alabama. Anybody, any Alabamians in the house? Alabamians in the house? No? <laughs> Good to see you guys. I'm really excited today because I like Bible trivia and uh, my entire family, we do Bible, Bible trivia a lot. And so I have a little devotional on Bible. I have a little game, a Bible trivia in the format of Kahoot. I don't know how many of you have played Kahoot before, but Kahoot is a game-based learning program that makes it easy to create and share and play, play learning games. Okay, I use this a lot with my students. And my children use this a lot in church and I'm sure many of you have used Kahoot. And so I'm gonna give you some instructions. You need an external device, maybe a phone. I'm using my computer for Zoom, but maybe you have your phone sitting next to you. And I'm gonna give you the, I'm gonna share my screen. I'll give you the game pin and you can join the game that way. But you have to play by looking at the Zoom screen or else you won't know what the questions are, okay? So again, you want to search kahoot.it, kahoot.it, and place the pin that I will share with you in, okay? Any questions before we move on? Uh, 
I'll go ahead and share my screen. Can you see my screen, everyone? Yeah. Okay. So when I go in, I'm going to share the screen. I'm going to give everybody two minutes to log in with the pin, and then we'll begin. Okay. So kahoot.it, kahoot it, it will, it will ask you for a game pin. And I'm about to share the game pin with you right now. Just a minute. You wouldn't do this beforehand for me. Grab your devices, iPads, uh, anything external. You are going to be viewing the questions from the Zoom screen, but your answers will be given using your external devices, maybe a phone, an iPad, whatever you have, a tablet of any kind. All right, and I'd like you to put in a name that we recognize, please. Woohoo! Two minutes, two minutes to get in. I know there are a hundred people on this evening, at least. We have about 20 people on. I'm giving you two minutes. Okay, so we have Nat, Skinny Legends, Stephanie, Marlon, Jay, Rosalie, A A AJ Edwards, Renis, Renis, Leander, Arlene, CS Sarai, Isaac M, B Monroe, CT, Che, Makila. This is your last chance. We have less than a minute to go. Get in quickly because we are starting at 3.52. Ah, uh, 4.52, your time. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to close some applications. All right, 3.52, time to begin. Here we go. Oh, you can join. You saw it? There's a great square in the middle of the screen. I don't know. Are you seeing it? Okay, so, all right, did everybody get to respond? Are you seeing my screen? Yes, we see in your screen. All right. No. What's that? 
the same photo. Oh, yeah. There, uh, people are in. There are several people in. Okay. Yeah. See, Bob Ross 10 is uh, under lead. This one is a drag and drop. Correct order is all right, Isaac M, Sheldon B, Bob Ross, one, two, three, true or false. Sheldon B in the lead. LJFA. <laughs> That's what's LFA. Sorry. <laughs> Type your answer. It's a special one. Think, think close to home.
Brother Monroe, B. Rap Monroe. I don't know who B. Rap Monroe is, but B. Rap Monroe is in the lead. You heard what my sister said? Hey guys.
Good job. Everybody got that one. Last question. Let's see who came in on the podium. Sarai. Bob Ross 10. El Jefe. That's Eric Lou. Oh, let's go. We have Skinny Legend and somebody else coming. All right, thank you for playing, guys. It's it's great to study God's word, and it's exciting to learn scripture in many different fun ways for children, right? Okay, so that's all I have for you. Thank you for playing. We'll now have our scripture reading. It's taken from Luke 15, 4 to 7. Luke 15, 4 to 7. What man of you having an hundred sheep, if he lose one of them, does not leave the ninety and nine in the wilderness? and go after that which is lost until he find it. And when he, and when he had found it, he laid it on his shoulders rejoicing. And when he cometh home, he called together his friends and neighbors saying unto them, rejoice with me for I have found my sheep which was lost. I say unto you, that likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repented more than over ninety and nine just persons which need no repentance. They end at the reading. Amen. This volume is very low. Amen. We need some volume. 30 years ago at Scarborough SDA Church, we had a budding drama group, which was led by Sister Milka Reed. The persons in this group were taught choral speaking. And this afternoon, we have three former members of this group to present our choral speaking of Luke 15, 11 to 32. They are Rui Bruce, Anne-Marie Digasso, and Hollis Cunningham. Okay, hi. Hello, everyone. It's nice to be on with you at this time. And just before the group presents, I want to say that um, as Charlene would have indicated, the drama group was an integral part of our AY society. Um, the person to be honored and recognized here is Sister Milka. Yes. Some volume, please. The volume is okay. You need to check your device. 
Yeah, I thought I'm at maximum volume. Okay, so I saw the person to be honored and recognized here is Sister, Sister Milka Reed for the talent that she has and how she was able to uniquely keep us together and focus on um, dramatizing various elements of, of scripture. So this evening, we want to dedicate this piece to um, Sister Milka Reed, and we will be doing the prodigal son. I'm sure I saw her on, and I know she would be smiling and probably looking for some of the mistakes we might make. <laughs> <laughs> but um, we were actually quite proud of ourselves having, um, we had one rehearsal in traditional AY style. We had one rehearsal this morning. So um, we, <laughs> Hollis and I, we are relying on all of our memories and our good experience. Oh, hi, Hollins. I haven't seen you in like a million years. <laughs> I'm right here, girl. <laughs> all right, nice. Okay, so that was just a break of protocol. Please forgive me, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. um, so the prodigal son taken from Luke chapter 15, verses 11 to 32, and we are doing it King James Version style. So here we go. And he said, a certain man had two sons, and the younger of them said to his father, Okay, that was a trial. All right, that was a trial. That was a trial. Just to see if you were paying attention, everyone out there. <laughs> so we will now start over and let's make sure we see Rui uh, online. Rui, are you there? Yes, I am. My iPad overheated, so now I got to switch to my phone. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. All right. Whew. All right. Okay. All right. So we're ready? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Nice. So here we go. And he said, a certain man had two sons, and the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion that falleth to me. And he divided unto them his living. And not many days after, the younger son gathered all together, and he took his journey into a far country. And there, wasted his substance and riotous living. And when he had spent all, there arose a mighty famine in that land, and he began to be in want. And he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country, and he sent him into his fields to feed swine, and he would fain have filled his belly with a husk that the swine did eat. And no man gave to him, and... He went and he came to himself and said, How many servants of my father have food enough and to spare? And I'm out here perishing in hunger. I will arise and go to my father. And I would say to him, Father, I'm sorry for what I've done. I've sinned against heaven and in thy sight. Please make me one of thy hired servants. And he arose and came to his father. But when he was yet a great way off, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. And the son said unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in thy sight, and I'm no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father said to his servants, Bring forth the best robe and put it on him and put rings on his hands and shoes on his feet and bring hither the fatted calf and kill it so that we could be merry and have a good time. And they began to be merry. Now his eldest son was in the field and he came and saw and do near to the house, and he heard music and dancing. And he called one of his servants and asked what these things meant. And he said unto him, Your brother is here. So your father had killed the 
fat lamb and threw a big party for him. And he was angry and would not go in. Therefore, his father came out and entreated him. And he answered and said to his father, Lo, these many years do I serve thee, neither transgressed I at any time thy commandments, and thou never gavest me a kid that I might make merry with my friends. But as soon as this son, which had devoured thy living with harlots, thou hast killed for him a fatted calf? And he said unto him, Son, you always been here with me. All I have is yours. And all everything that I will ever make in life will belong to you soon, son. For you see, your son was, was dead, but he's alive again, and he was lost and is found. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so that's it, folks. That was the end Amen. of the presentation. Amen. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. Nice, nice, nice. That was so great. At this time, we will have special music by Sister Jadel Bier. Away from God. Now I'm coming home. The path of sin too long I've trod. Lord, I'm coming home, coming home, coming home, never more to Lord. 
Thank you, Sister Beard, for such a beautiful, soul-rending um, piece. Again, we say welcome to our visitors. Our main feature, Prodi Comes Home. It is our prayer that as you listen to this feature, the main presentation, 
that your souls will be touched, your hearts will be blessed, and of course, you will make a decision for going. At this time, I present to you, Prodi Comes Home. This is just too much of this. Every day I have to be sweeping and mopping and dusting. Look, 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 look all the windows. I can't take it and it's making me sneeze too. Wait a minute. But that look like people. I told you we've been all praying for you. Don't be afraid. The shame and no. Don't worry. 
go home. You have money in your phone. You could call. You have no money in your phone. All right. So just just walk up the yard and you pray. I'll pray to you. We've been praying for you things to go. Oh, don't worry, man. Nice to see you. All right. Well, yes, look, thing, praying. I'll be real praying for you for truth. You ungrateful thing, yeah? Your mother and your father do all that for you, and you just leave and go on. They're calling you, you can't even answer. Ungrateful. <laughs> let, me, let me call, let me call her this. Hmm. Well, yes. Or is yeah. Oh, you mean who calling? So you can't look on the phone and see me picture. Come on, a man. Come with it. Get up. Get get, get ready. Times now, girl. You know who I just see pass by the house. Friday. Friday said he going home. But girl, he shame. Let me tell you. Let me tell you what I'm calling you. You live right next door. He might be talking about. About five minutes so. Yes, get these scores for me because here what? He said he feeling real bad. Girl, he was sleeping in a park. Imagine the son of a well off man, well off father, sleeping in a park. He said he been digging in garbage can for food. He ain't have no friends. You remember that car the father buy for him? Car gone. And the girlfriend? She gone too. He said he's shame by telling no. I encourage him because you know, his parents go. The, 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 the father might kick a fuss a little bit, you know. But you know, they go, he go be fine. But let me tell you, make sure you see everything, yeah? Don't do play your stay inside. If you, if you can't hear nothing, go outside in the yard and listen because I know it's well back in our later. Yes, all right, I'll call you, yeah? Right, bye bye. Good, good. Okay, good. Oh, could be going home. Well, yes. <laughs> Business is really going well. I'm really pleased with Joseph. He's really showing great management skills. You know, I can probably retire soon and leave him in charge. We interrupt what you're watching right now to bring you this exciting story. We don't know this number. Who is this? Hey. Hello? Hello? Pradi? Pradi, did you? Oh man, I'm so happy to hear from you, man. How are you? Like you have a new number? No, you, you had to borrow somebody's phone? How come? Wow. What? Oh, Praddy, no, you know your father love you. you. You could have given me a call. You are shame. Whew, now I understand. But you know what? The important thing is, we are talking now, and I am happy to hear from you. Yes, so, so where are you now? Are you okay? Oh, man, you're just a few minutes from here. Of course you could come home. What? No, no, no. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. No. No, no, no. No son of mine would be working for his keep. Okay? You are my son. This is your house. And you can come free of charge. <laughs> you actually thought I forget about you? Freddy, each day, each day, I look on my cell phone to see if I get a missed call from you or a text. And believe it or not, some mornings 
I get up early in the morning and I walk down the driveway to see you on the street. How could I ever forget about you? Yes, I know you are sorry. It, it's okay, Trudy. The important thing now is we have reconnected now. And I'm happy to hear from you. In fact, you see you right down the street. I could come and get you, you know. Uh -huh. You want to walk? Okay, but okay, 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 okay. Well, do me a favor. The person who is with you, right? Tell that person. He asked them if they could come here with you. Because I don't want to lose contact with you. You know, in case I need to call her, I have to get her number. And let them know if they do that, tell them where you're going. And let them know that I will reward them greatly. Yes, I will do that. Freddy, you're going to come home, right? Beautiful man. Well, you know how the people say? They say, hurry up and come. Yes, Freddy. Yes. Love you too. All right. See you soon, huh? All right. Bye-bye. Oh, bye. <laughs> yes. Woo. My dream has come true. I need to call wife. I need to call wife here. Wait. How come she doesn't answer the phone so quick? Come on, wife. Answer the phone. Answer the phone. Hello, hi, honey. Hey, sweetie, how are you doing? I thought I was going to get your voicemail, like you're busy or what? Oh, I'm just here having my nails done. Yeah. Oh, yes. Okay, okay, but forget all about that. I have fantastic news for you. Take a guess. Those investments are paying off. Good successes? No, it's not that. Good guess though, but no, it's not that. It's something we have been praying about. Think closer to home. Well, it has to be that cabin you've been promising me. Yes, we finally got it. No? No, I, I thought you'd have gotten it. I spoke with Freddy today and he is coming home. Hallelujah. Isn't that great news? Freddy? What? So what it is he wants now? More money? I can't believe this. As a mother, I actually thought you'd have been more excited about this. I'm still waiting for that boy to send me my birthday card, Mother's Day card, nothing, nothing for Christmas. And I have a bad attitude? Sweetie, we can't live like this. Prodi is your own flesh and blood. Today's supposed to be a day of rejoicing, not a day of grudges. Our son, who was away, he with us again. Please come home so we can plan a party for him. You know what? I don't know what you're saying, but I'll talk to you later. Yeah. Wait a second. Is Gwon she going just like that? I really thought you'd have been excited like me. Today's supposed to be a day of excitement and happiness. I know I am working today. Oh, speaking of which, excitement, happiness, I need to go on one, yeah. Hello, Brian, Mr. P here. How are you? What are you doing now? Well, hello. How you doing, Mr. P? Nice hearing from you. I'm okay. I'm working on some paperwork here. Just trying to keep business going. Okay, great. I know you have a lot to do, right? But I need you to drop everything right now. We're pulling out all the stops. I need you to plan a party for me. What? Mr. Pete, it sounds like you sold a big deal, man. Big deal. 
That's good to know you had such a big closure on this deal. It's going to be even better news than you thought. It's better than that. Today is going to be a great day of celebration. Prodi is coming back home. What? You 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 mean your son Pr Pr Prodi? Ah uh, yes, you got that right. And remember the party we planned for Scarborough? For New Year's? Well, I need this party to be twice as big, twice as better. Brian, I am counting on you. This has to be twice as nice, okay? Oh, 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 okay, sir. I'll do that. Okay, great. Thank you, Brian. Start working on the guest list too, you know. Prodi needs to feel well. Thanks a lot, eh? Yes, sir. This will be great. Freddy will feel a welcome back when he gets home. Joseph knows about his brother and being in town. Hmm. I just saw him about 10 minutes ago, but he didn't mention anything about this. Oh boy, you know what? Well, you know what? Let me give him a call. Joseph, may 
man, how come you didn't tell me pretty in town? What are you talking about? Serious, man. You didn't hear anything? Serious like a heart attack. Tell me what you know. Well, your dad just called me and he told me to drop everything I'm doing. I'm flooded with paperwork here, but the man told me to drop everything I'm doing because your brother is back in town. He wants to plan a big party. I mean, really big. And it's happening later. Are you sure you heard right, man? That man must be out of his mind. That is what Mr. P tells me to do. And you know what Mr. P tells me to do? I better do it and do it well. I real upset, yes? This man tells Dad that he can't wait until he's dead to start his own business and he wanted to share immediately. We had no idea where he was and all of a sudden they're trying to treat him like he's president or prime minister. I'm not having this. I refuse to be a part of that. Oh man, I ain't trying to upset you. I only want you to, I only wanted to tell you, man. Uh, yeah, I only wanted to tell you what was going on. You're welcome, sir. Oh, by the way, Joseph, you didn't hear this from me. Okay, man. Thanks for calling. I better get going on Mr. P's business, boy. These are all the thanks I get. That they didn't even have the manners to call me and tell me that the boy in town and playing a big party for him. I don't know if I can help you or not. I just want to be around like It hurts me to see you like this. Please, just tell me and I will, I'm sure I will be able to help you. It's about that brother of mine. What is? Who else? You believe that Joker came back in town? When? What? That's the thing. I don't know any of those answers. If Brandon called me, I would still be in the dark. I would still not know anything. So how come Brian knows about this? That's the kicker. He knows because Father wants to have a big time celebration for him tonight. Are you serious? No wonder you're upset. I remember just the other day you wanted to have a small get together and with the boys and your dad and your dad told you that you need to take better care of your resources. Well, you're good by yourself. You know, that's true. When it's time for me to do something, you pinching pennies and telling me about the future, I should think about the future and want to spend like if there's no tomorrow on him. That can't be fair at all, honey. After all, when Paddy left, your father was so distraught. It was you who was literally running this business. Come to think about it. I never hear him show you any appreciation. He ever say anything about how he appreciate what you was doing? Yes, he says, I'm a good boy. I really appreciate you. And one day this will all be mine. And things like that. But that's all. That can't be fair at all. You are such a hard worker. And so many times you're coming home late. And you're so tired. 
I feel so sorry for you. That's the thing, you know. And he probably, he probably blew his money on prostitutes and, and all kind of women. Coming home broke to get a piece of my share. But I am not having it. And I not have it. I fully understand. I think you should call your father now or call your father when you cool down. When I cool down? I call him now, yes? Okay. Well, you will let me know how it goes.
Joseph, I'm glad you called, man. I have great news to share with you. Daddy, please say it's not true. Oh, I guess you heard. Well, if it's about Brody, it is true. And we should all be happy. After all, we are family. Daddy, he left you high and dry. And it really seems like you like him more than you like me. After all I have done for you. No, Joseph, that's not true. I love both of you guys. And you have done a lot for me. And I can see why you're upset. But you have to think like a father. A father loves and cares for his children. In spite of all situations. But daddy, a big party for him. He does not deserve that. Joseph, you are right. He does not deserve it. But that is where love and grace comes in. You have always received my love and appreciation. But in times like these, Cody needs to see, in spite of what he has done, he has a family he can depend on. If it were you, would you want that? Daddy, I don't want to agree with you. Either. But. I can see what you mean. If it was me, probably I would have wanted to be treated the same way. Joseph, you may think I don't appreciate you, right? But all my businesses are now in your name. Up to today, I was complimenting you because you have proven to be trustworthy and dependable over the years. Please don't hold a grudge against your brother. We all need forgiveness at times in our lives. Daddy, I'm really sorry about how I acted. I really need to be more like you. I understand, sir. It is said that the metal of a man is thrown through his throat when he faces adverse situations just like this. Yes, Daddy. That is so true. Let us have a big party for Freddy. Okay, sir. We good? I'll see you later. Yes, Daddy. Excellent news. Bye for now. is my own flesh and blood and I'm so happy that he came home. I'm looking forward to the celebration too. I am so happy to hear you say that. Okay, so come on quick. Let, let's plan this party for him. I know you miss him too. Yes, I'm on my way now. I'll see you soon. Bye. Yes. Uh, things are going good. Oh, you want to be missing this party with us? Hey, Brody, how come I reach yet, man? Well, if I'm sorry, like I'm excited, it's because I'm excited to see you. Oh, really? Oh, yes. You 
exactly what the guy in the blue shirt. Okay, okay, okay. But you no, know, forget about the phone. What are you guys gonna come in? You don't have to sell your own. Actually, we're planning a big party for you, you know. Yes, he could come to the come to his invited. Man, forget about clothes, everything is covered. Come on in and I'll give you the details, right? Yes. Yes. Okay, I'm coming out and meet you. Hallelujah. My son is home. I am so happy. Yes. Okay, let's see what's going on up the road now. Uh-huh. This woman don't answer her phone, buddy. Oris, Oris, sister Oris, hit me the scores there, girl. Oris, I'm not talking about cricket. I want to know what go on with Prodi and his parents. Send me the videotape now, at least. Send me the... They didn't videotape it. Oris, come on. I mean, you, you're so close to them. So they even cuss him out, self? Serious? I would have given him a good cocktail, eh, girl? So, so what happened? They having a what? A party, you say? They having a party tonight? There was no bacchanal? Nah. I real shock here. I re what? No. Nah. Well, okay. Like I told him, they, they are Christian people and stay one place now. You only moving the camera all over the place. Just stay one place now, man. They're making me dizzy. Yeah, I told him they are Christian people and they would really, you know, welcome him back with open arms. I'm happy for him. I'm really happy. But, but let me see though, let me see if he really change and if he go stay home this time, you know them young people and them. Anyhow, so wait, I, wait a minute, they have a party, you see, and they didn't invite me? So you mean to say, Prodi and tell your father, his sister, G who encourage him to go up the road and don't be afraid and invite me to the party, sir? Nah, man. Anyhow, I will still wait. They, they, might, they, might, they might pick up later and they might give me a call, so I'm going and get ready. If me here, thing up nice and thing already, so yeah. It looking good? Yeah. Right. Right. Later. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> party. Party. Boy, stay out, stay out so long. Party. Welcome party. Not even a little back and all. I even got a little video to, to, to share with people. Huh. Thank God for good Christian parents, yes.
you 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 mean your son pr pr Prabi? Wait a second. Is Gohan she going just like that? Shh. I really thought she would have been excited like me. That can't be fair at all. You are such a hard worker. And so many times you're coming home late and you're so tired. I feel so sorry for you. That's the thing, you know. And he probably, he probably blows money on prostitutes and, and all kind of women. Coming home broke to get a piece of my share. Bad attitude. I'm still waiting for that boy to send me my birthday card. Mother's Day card. Nothing, nothing from Christmas. And I have a bad attitude. Oris, Oris, sister Oris, hit me the scores, dear girl. Oris, think about cricket. What a praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! I am certain that each person logged on on this platform this evening was truly blessed, and to even to be even more blessed, we have Brother Chester Barber, who will bring to us special music. In holy pages, this truth can be found, a promise to stand on when darkness abounds. Oh, And wrong never will in grace will always be greater than sin. Grace will always be
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Grace will always be great. Amen. Thank you, Brother Chester. And so we have our pastor, Pastor Otley, will do our vespers, which will be followed by our closing remarks, vote of thanks, and the closing song. So, Pastor Otley. Good afternoon to one and all. And I must say we really had a beautiful experience this afternoon. You know, grace will truly be greater than our sin. And we understand, you know, even through this the depiction of the prod of prodigy coming home, that, you know what, we ought to not only be accepting, but also keep our arms open and have the right mindset so that we could accept those who are returning with the help of God. So even today, for the next few moments, I just want to engage you as we look at the topic, you can make it reflections of a prodigal. You can make it reflections of a prodigal. Let's pray. Father, and even now, bless us as we delve into your word. And we just thank you for this awesome afternoon's experience. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Have you ever felt like you've got more than you signed up for? You know, I use this... Um, caricature intentionally, you know, a little humor in the midst of it. Sometimes life gives us a little more than we seem to be able to handle. But one of the things we have to always remind ourselves of is the reality that despite of how things may look in your life, you never give up, never let go, because God always has a divine plan. And, and that plan has in it an eternal purpose for your life. You see, all we like sheep, according to Isaiah 53, verse 6, have gone astray, yes, and turned everyone to his own way, yes. But at the same time, he was wounded, he was bruised, and with his stripes, we are healed. Healed to walk in newness of life. Healed to defy all the hereditary tendencies. Healed to rebuke the enemy and watch him flee in Jesus' name. Healed towards sustained change so that the things we used to do, we'll do them no more because it's a great change when we experience this transformation in Jesus. You see, to sustain change, as we know, you need to get up and go forward to change the plot of your life story. You need to shut down the pity party because no one owns you anything. But we have to pull yourself together and make the most of the potential God has blessed you with. But even more than this, you need to look up and step forward into your preferred future. Think like an overcomer. Believe that in Jesus you have overcome and act as if you got a taste of the second coming's glorification in this moment with the confidence that says I got this in Jesus name but you see we need to celebrate and even as was portrayed today sometimes when uh, persons return we don't give them the olive branch as it will and we sometimes judge them and we sometimes treat them with the disdain but you know what we need to celebrate what God is doing in the next person's life their life may not be yours they may have made some blunders yes but at the same time, we have to remember, you know what? It could have been me. And because it could have been me, I need to relate to that individual with a sense of respect and care that says, I am with you in the midst of this. We need to celebrate because only God knows your story. Only God knows the real you. And for many of us, we are prodigals, but just in disguise. And, and, and the good thing is that only God knows our story, but the good thing is that even though he knows it, he still extends that grace and that mercy to us. And he never shuts the door. He never acts as if he doesn't want us to return because he loves us with an everlasting life. We need to celebrate the reality that the church was made for sinners and thus there is space for you and space for me and space for others as well. We need to celebrate that the same way God gave you another chance, you can do the same for another or someone else. It could be a relative, could be a parent, could be a co-worker, a friend, could be somebody that used to roll with really nice and something happened that separated that union and the person needs to return or you need to return. We can forgive and go forward and make a difference. We could celebrate victory in Jesus because when it comes to Jesus, no spiritual prejudice is allowed. So even if you want to treat somebody bad, guess what? No spiritual prejudice is allowed when it 
comes to serving our Lord. For the Bible says in 1 John chapter 3, verse 1, it says, Behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of God. Beloved, it's true. Now are we the sons of God, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall see him for we shall see him as he is. And verse three it ends by saying, and every man that had this hope in him purified himself even as he is pure. For it is God which worketh in you in Philippians chapter two, verse 13, both to will and to do of his good pleasure. We can celebrate today because God washes all of us clean. God knows how to fix us up. God knows how to pick us up and set us to where we need to be. So whether we're the ones that are home, we have to receive those that are coming or those that who would have left and need to return, with God's help, we can get to that place, that place where he predestined for us to be at, and he would work with us, he would cleanse us all and empower us for greatness. Thus to the prodigals at home, and those returned or returning, no pun intended, mind you, to the prodigals at home and those returned or returning, you can make it because God is your father. He will forgive you and he will clean you up. You can make it because God's plans for you exceeds your human thoughts. For his thoughts, his plans are above our thoughts and his ways are above our ways and higher than the highest human thought could reach is still his ideal for us as his children. You can make it because you are not limited or sentenced by your past mistakes, but in Jesus, we can be liberated and go forward. You can make it because better than going to space and returning as Bezos and these guys is going to glory land and staying in the awesome presence of Jesus. You can make it because even when this devotion at end God's mercies continue to be new every morning. You can make it because God is your father. And one of these days, he'll be ushering all of us into the pearly gates, into that place that he went to prepare for us, where we will no more prodigals, but we'll all be able to function and serve perpetually in his presence as sons and daughters of the Most High God. You see, my story is no mystery. Because as a federal prodigal, God has been helping me. Will you accept his help today? Will you accept his help to empower you to go forward today? God wants us all to be where he wants us to be, and that is in heaven. You know, in my devotions last year, one day I was praying, doing some soul searching. I shared these two experiences with the church. And whilst praying, and I'm, I'm praying, God told me in my spirit that I have pride. And I was like, pride? What do you mean I have pride? And I was trying to understand it. I started to pray about it and do the introspection and be able to work on myself so that God could help to burn the dross out of me. And then earlier this year, I was praying and the question came on my mind, are you ready for Jesus to come? I shared this with the church as well. And when I thought about this question, my answer was no. And it shocked me because in the midst of it, I was not ready. And I'm sharing with all of us on this chat this afternoon because a lot of times we pride in our religiosity and in what we do, but we have to realize that it's more than what you do, it's who you're connected to. And by the grace of God, I want you to do the soul searching. Is there any trait in your life that you may need to get rid of or ask the Holy Spirit to help to scrub out and rip out and cut out. You know, when you have cancer, the surgeons have to go in and try to remove every cancerous cell because even if a small piece is, is left behind, it will take over in no time and you could lose your life. You see, we need to invite God in to be that surgeon as a great physician, anybody here, to open us up and to take out all the things on the inside that may be unlike him. So we can be like he, he is. And even more than this, we need to live our lives in such a way that when the question is asked, am I ready for Jesus to come? You could answer yes, by God's grace. And if I'm to answer the question today, guess what? Yes, by God's grace, because Pastor Audley did his homework, hallelujah. And I pray to God that we all do our homework as well. More than just looking the part is being the part and trusting in God to keep you on the path in Jesus' name. Father in heaven, even today, we thank you for your word. Continue to strengthen us all so that we can be more like you. 
Continue to help us there, Lord, so that we can return. Continue to help us there, Father, so that we will be able to accept those who may have made blunders in their lives and are trying to come back. Accept them with arms open wide so that they can see your love demonstrated in our actions and be able to say, ah, there goes a Christian. Or ah, after all that I've done to this person, they still care about me? Lord, that is supposed to be our response there, God, when we relate to persons in the correct way. Bless us and continue to bless this group and all of us as we look forward to that day when you will come. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Pastor. You're welcome. You know, repentance, confession, grace and mercy equals love. Love is God's chain that keeps us connected to him. Just like Prodi's father extended his love to his wayward son, God commended his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. So too, my brothers and sisters, we are to extend love to each other, regardless of what the circumstance may be, regardless of whom we may have offended because I have certainly offended persons, but I'm saying to anyone whom I have offended, come and let us reason together. Though our sins be as scarlet, God will make them white as snow. So my brothers and sisters, we thank you for tuning in. We bless the name of the Lord this evening for what he has done for us today in giving us, making this service a very successful one. And we pray that those who are logged on that they were truly blessed. And before we close, we'll have our vote of thanks by Sister Kianda Orr, uh, followed by our closing song and prayer. Closing prayer by Brother Ma Sheldon Murray. Praise be to God. As we end today's program, I would love to thank everyone for attending. Those who logged in from abroad, those who logged in locally, we hope you enjoyed AY service with Scarborough Seventh-day Adventist Church this Sabbath. I especially want to thank the elders and Pastor Utley of Scarborough Seventh-day Adventist Church, the graphics organized by Rima Toby and myself, our musicians, Racine Darimple, Leanne Edwards, Kylan John, Hassani O, Jada Baird, Bernadette Scott Charles, Annette Sukia Wood, Ariel Wood, Chester Bob, Paul Williams, the choral speakers, Sister Anne Marie Degazon, Brother Hollis Cunningham. Also, the Scarborough SDA Friends Planning Committee, Brother Clem Hackett, Brother Bruy Bruce, Brother Sheldon Baptiste, Brother Sheldon Murray, Brother Andre Morris, Sister Renis Gabriel, Sister Angela Roland Ronalds, and Sister Charlene Jerry. We hope you all enjoy the program and do look forward to meeting again as citizens of heaven. Thank you. Amen. And I would like to especially thank my co-host, Miss Kianda O. And now for our closing song, Brother Andre Morris, can you play for us, please, the video?
just heard were members of the former Scarborough SDA Youth Choir, which was led by our dear sister, Ed, late sister Edlyn Richard, her husband, Dr. Jean Robert Richard, their son, Junior, and our musicians, Sammy and Earl Mills, Marlon and Marlon Murray. We thank you guys. It was such a hard job, you know, difficult time getting everyone to to coordinate our pieces, but we thank God that it did come off. And now we give God praise and honor and glory, and we say good evening to everyone. And we have our closing prayer by Brother Sheldon Murray. All right, everyone's hearing me? Man.
Yes, 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 Sheldon. Go ahead. Well, Father, again, we want to thank you for this wonderful program that you have inspired members of the Scarborough Church to put together. We want to thank you for um, health and strength, Father. We want to pray for those that are sick. Father, I want to mention my friend, Michael Peterson, in the hospital right now. Ask the Lord to um, be with him and his family. Be with every head that's here, all the members of the church, those that are not on also. We want to ask you to be with them, pro provide for them, bless them, and give them protection, dear Lord. Father, you know, as, as the song just mentioned, we are going to meet one day in the air, and that's the ultimate goal, dear Lord. Forgive us from our sins so we can uh, be there and have the great reunion that we all desire for all these years, dear Father. Thank you again for everything. And uh, again, I wanted to thank the, the members of Scarborough Church for coming together, uniting like we never uh, parted all these years. Thank you again, dear Lord, for Christ's sake. Amen. 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 So have a blessed evening and a productive week, guys. So good to see everybody. Love you guys. We're not on Amen.